and that's the footage that usually and then i usually do a bit of color correction to match that with the cg yeah yeah but then i just cut between it and i i thought at least when i was first doing it the first one i did that with was the ball toy episode okay and i thought that the transition was too jarring and but then like i put it up on i i think it was my a community post where I was like, "Hey, is this, is this weird to anybody else?" Or I might have put it in like a comment or something, and, mm -hmm. and a bunch of people were just like, "Didn't notice it." And I was like, "Perfect, I'm gonna keep doing yeah, that." Yeah, great, <laughs> love it. I'm gonna run with that. So good. Mm -hmm. um, another thing I want to ask you: this, you know, kind of goes along with the overall production of these videos. Is obviously <laughs> Michael Michelson became iconic with uh, with with these, um, and really gave it that documentary style mm -hmm. feel with narrator voice. Mm -hmm. Boltoy moves while spinning around on its single foot like a top. Some Boltoy have even been seen spinning on their heads. Primitive wall paintings depicting this Pokemon living among people were discovered in some ancient ruins in this very desert. It's kind of funny to read some of the comments where when you reveal that it was AI, people were like, I didn't realize mm -hmm. it was AI. And then I laughed at one of your replies where you're like, you have no idea what I had to go through to like manipulate it the AI to actually pron uh, pronounce the Pokemon's names right because obviously they're not real mm -hmm. words and I, I found the same thing whether we're doing like auto generated captions or something like that it's just yeah. like you have to really twist its its arm to get it to say mm -hmm. what you want to say but I love what you've done with <laughs> Professor Ginkgo which is awesome I think you sound great mm -hmm. um as a Poke professor you. you know from from Unova and I'd love to hear if you have any ideas or teasers for what you have in mind in that regard for, for this year whether I know you said you might be looking at some other voice actors but that obviously you're mm -hmm. using your own voice in the meantime um yeah yeah so basically right now like of course i'm using my own voice um but the issue i find is that while i'm not a, i don't really like get mad about using my voice i like to voice act things yeah however i already do so much other stuff on my channel that uses my voice i, I need sense. something different that's what i loved about michael micasin was <laughs> that it was something different finally i love it um, <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was great, but a after the series um, got popular, I was like, okay, I should probably switch it. Um, but like I said, I'm in film school, so my hope is to really just go around and ask some friends and just be like, hey, you want to voice act in this thing? Hey, and, like just see if it works. Um, I'm going. I'm I'm planning on doing one more episode um, mm -hmm. with my voice, just because I want to. I I've found that. Um, doing like kind of a uh, three mini episodes and putting them all into one thing that's usually around like five minutes kind of mm -hmm. works so i'm kind of going off of that seeing how that works so i've done two with my voice already i'll do one more so it's like one full episode and then from there i'm gonna see what i can do in changing that but i i don't have any full plans i uh, i do have ideas for new like i guess you could say like characters yeah um, because i really because like that, that's something i didn't realize how much fun i would have with like with michael michelson uh like i i put a lot of like distinct like type of like verbiage yeah in in his words and how he speaks where like professor ginkgo has a bit of a different talking style and i found myself having a lot of fun with that Mm -hmm. so with the next character whoever takes over after i finish this last episode um uh, i'll probably try to come up with something that is also unique to that person and also has something with that as well that's awesome i love that i imagine you with michael michelson the distinct words you know, dictionary is like all right we're unique words <laughs> Mm -hmm. I love it. I, I, I would use the Grammarly. Uh, it has a thing where yeah. you, it will replace a <laughs> yes. word with something better. I'm just like, yep, yeah. keep, just keep giving me the big ones. Yep, yep. I love it. I, I love, love it. that so much. Um, 